we've all seen that one that sets off maybe a little bit left, pucks round to the left, and an absolute killer having hit a good tee shot. Right then guys, so we can see from that first shot there, you know, that ball maybe just setting off a little bit left, but really hooking to the left. And any of you guys out there that do hook your irons, definitely my bad shot if anything, you'll be feeling my pain. But in today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to stop hooking your irons. Right then guys, if you're new down to my channel, welcome down to Ali Taylor Golf. I hope you're going to enjoy today's content. I'm guessing if you're watching today's video, hooking irons is an issue for you, but we're going to help you understand why, and most importantly, how to fix it. Now, let's just get on with that video. So guys, like we said there, the key is to first of all understand why you're hitting that hook with the irons, maybe even with the fairway woods to an extent, but mostly with the irons, kind of what's causing it, how we're going to change that, but the beauty from today's lesson is how we're going to change that without actually changing your golf swing, just understanding how a change of ball position can improve your shape of shot. So when we look at why a golf ball does what it does, the first thing we need to understand is why the ball sets off where it does and why it curves like it does. And I'm going to assume a fairly centered strike on all these shots, but what we know is that the ball tends to set off incredibly close to where that club face points. So as long as I get my club face pointing back at the target at impact, the ball should set off very, very close to that. And then the path the club is moving on as it hits the golf ball creates a curve. So if my club was moving left through impact or out to in, it would produce that fade. If it's producing, uh, swinging to the right from in to out, that's that draw or that hook. And if it's performing very straight, that's gonna give us a nice straight shot. So if we're drawing the golf ball, we know that you would be somebody who would do this. So we can see that ball shaping to the left. So we can see there, my club face was a little bit close, which is why the ball set off, but then the path was nearly six degrees to the right. So even though my club face was a little bit closed at impact there, it's the fact that that club was working six degrees to the right, which creates that right to left shape. So, like I said, the really nice thing with this video is we can maybe change your shape of shot without changing your golf swing. So what we're gonna do is, we know that the club travels on an arc through the bottom of the golf swing. And the danger is because we get our low point with our irons after the golf ball, that means that the club is predominantly, it's still traveling down, but it's also traveling to the right as it hits that. Now it could be, you might be somebody who gets that low point too far forward. So what we're actually gonna work on here is I'm literally just going to move my ball position from being very, very central, where it would normally be for me. I'm actually going to move the ball maybe three inches, four inches in the stance and get it more opposite my left heel. Now, the idea being that if I'm somebody who's six degrees from the inside, traveling to the right with the ball in the middle, as I move the ball a bit further forward in my stance, it should get that path traveling a little bit straighter through the bottom because it's working more to the left. So let's try that. So I'm going to feel like the ball position is going to be maybe be a little bit closer to where I would hit three wood off the floor. So put myself set up. That feels a long way further forward than me. And I'm just going to try and make the same golf swing. And we can see that one setting off straight. Now my face was actually very, very slightly open there, but we can see that club path has changed massively. So it's now under a degree to the right. So it's very, very straight. So let's do another one of those. So let's get myself set up that ball position further forward than normal, and then really just focus on making the same movement. Again, feels different at address, but doesn't feel any different during the swing. 
And we see with that one there, if you're looking for that holy grail, dead straight shot, would be zero path and zero face. So you can see there guys, I've not actually had to change what I'm thinking of doing in my movement of my golf swing. I'm just putting the golf ball in a different part of the arc to straighten my path up. Then my club face control has been pretty decent towards the target. That's allowed the ball to set off straight and fly nice and straight. Right then guys, so hopefully we can see there, not having to make any technical changes, just a little adjustment in our setup. And you can play around with the ball position a little bit to see you might move it too far forward and it might actually get you hitting a little fade. But you can play around with ball position so that the path of your club is different in delivery to the ball, which is going to change the shape of your shot. It's a very, very simple way of quickly correcting a shot if you need to, particularly when you're playing Obviously, if it is something that creeps in, you might want to have some coaching, you might want to try some other things, but that can be a really, really quick fix to stop you hooking your irons and get you hitting them straighter than ever before. So guys, hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, like and share it, comment below, I'll get back to as many people as I can. If you've enjoyed today's video and you're not currently subscribed to my channel, please consider clicking the subscribe button, ringing the notification bell, then you'll find out whenever I drop a new video. Follow me on all my social media platforms, all under Ali Taylor Golf. Hopefully catch up with some of you guys down here soon. Stay in contact.